How's it going, everyone? We have a slight roster news. So the Packers have announced they have activated defensive lineman Jonathan Ford off the injured reserve. Now, due to the fact we have a full roster, they did have to make a move to add him to the roster. So they have released long snapper Matt Orzek. Now, this is not because of the snap, the low snap in the final kick where Brandon McManus won us the game. This is actually just a procedural move. So uh, Jonathan Ford was on the uh, practice for three weeks and time was up. So if the Packers didn't activate him onto the active roster, he would have to go back on IR and he would not be able to return at all in this season. So because of it, they activated him due to the fact they activated him. They had to release a player. So in the end, it's expected that once Jonathan Ford uh, joins the active 53 man roster, they will cut him and then re-sign him onto the practice squad as uh, hopefully he clears waivers, in which he probably will. If he clears waivers, he will join the practice squad, and then that would leave an open roster spot into where Matt Orza can once again get re-signed by the Green Bay Packers and go onto the 53-man roster. And it's not the first time they've done it. They did it last year with Matt Orzek. It seems to be the same case this year. So... Uh, don't really read into the fact that us releasing Matt Orzak is because of the bad snap in that final field goal kick. It's just a procedural move to get Jonathan Ford activated and then subsequently probably released and onto the practice squad. But just coming out with a quick roster update of the Packers. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, Go Pack Go!